What's up, Grove Youth? This is Travis Risher, your community engagement pastor here at the Grove. And I wanted to talk to you today about next steps. What's next steps? Well, we're talking about with our relationship with Jesus, the next steps. So if you don't know, the very first step that you take in a relationship with Jesus is by saying yes to him. And that is when you realize in your heart and in your mind that Jesus is who he says he is, the way, the truth, and the life. These are the things that separate Christianity from other religions. So think about this illustration. If you think about a ladder with different steps and think at the very top that you can get to God. Every other religion says, if you do this step and then this, and this good deed, and this good deed, and this good deed, you can finally earn your way to heaven. Christianity flips the script and says, Jesus starts at the top of the ladder and he comes down to us, where we are in our filth, in our sin, in our stupidity. He loves us even though we are morons sometimes and we do dumb stuff, am I right? Yes, you do too, uh-huh, yeah, you, even me. We do dumb stuff all the time, we're like, Oh, I wish I wasn't so ridiculous. I wish I didn't let this part of my life consume me, but we do because we are humans. Here's the great thing though. Because Jesus has taken the first step and come down to meet us where we are, simply saying yes to him means, wow, you are different. You are unlike any other person that I've known, that you love me in spite of all of my flaws, that is someone that I want to follow. And for those of you that know the story of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, is that he loved you so much that he died on a cross for you. He was so powerful enough though, that he overcame death. He came back to life, showed himself to over 500 people, it says in the Bible, and then ascended back to heaven where he sits now on the throne side of God. That's who Jesus is. He loves you so much that he sacrifices himself for you. He paid your bill for your screw-ups. That is the first step. You thinking in your head and in your heart, that is who I want to serve. That's who I want to follow. Step one is saying yes to Jesus. I believe you are who you say you are. The next step that we talk about here at The Grove is baptism. And it is simply a symbol of your relationship with God. Um, I think about this wedding ring right here. Bill Clark always uses this example, that the baptism, when we get baptized, it is like the wedding ring of someone getting married. It is a simply a, a symbol, an act that says to everyone else, I believe in Jesus and I don't care who knows. It would almost be like um, you starting a relationship with someone and then never telling anyone about it. Be like, yeah, I, I mean, I date, I date this, I date this kid, but like we keep it real low. Like we don't tell anyone, we don't let anyone know. Like you wouldn't do that, right? That's a weird relationship. And the same thing with Jesus. You don't just say you love Jesus and then like kind of, Never tell anybody about like, yeah, I mean, I love Jesus, but don't tell anybody. No, no one wants to do that. You say, I believe Jesus is who he says he is. And that's why we get baptized to let people know. You know, um, I think a lot of people might get scared. They're like, Ugh, you know, I'm an introvert. I don't want all that attention. Well, guess what? It is commanded in God's word to get baptized. And we do it because even Jesus himself was baptized. Um, you know, when I'm baptizing a person, I will look at them and say, hey, do you believe Jesus is who he says he is, the way, the truth, and the life? And they're like, yes, I do. And I'm like, that is awesome. Well, it is my honor to baptize you, whatever their name is, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And then we junk them under and I say, buried with him in Christ, raised to new life. And that raised to new life is a symbol of how our lives are going to be different. Doesn't mean that you become instantly perfect and you're this goody do to goody two shoe that, that always makes the right decisions. No, we, we screw up on the daily, but we realize that we cannot go through this life without the love, hope, and 
grace that Jesus offers us. So baptism is a huge next step that you can take. And if you want to get baptized, if you are on the fence, if you have more questions about it, please reach out to one of our uh, staff members here at The Grove, whether it's me, Tim, Missy, Becca, Jack, Pastor Bill. We would all love to answer those questions. Whoever you feel comfortable with, ask the questions. Be like, ah, what about this? And I promise we will do our best to explain that to you. The final step I want to talk to you today about, and it's not the last step, but it's the clear next step, is getting out and serving other people. We do it because, wait for it, Jesus modeled it. In fact, in Matthew 25, it says that Jesus didn't come here to get served, but he came to serve other people. And that is what we are required to do. As the community engagement pastor here at The Grove, I work with a lot of volunteers. So whether they're here on Sundays, holding doors, greeting people in the parking lot, making coffee for people, um, or maybe it's through Upward Basketball where we are uh, showing the love of Jesus through, through sports. Maybe it's when we get out and about in the community. You know, on August, October 2nd, we have an opportunity to love this community by serving uh, with the Independence Fire Department at, our, at their 5K. So whatever aspect that you want to get involved with, or maybe you just have more questions about serving other people and getting out and loving this community, that could be your next step. So if you have any questions about next steps here at The Grove, reach out to us. We would love to get you connected and answer any questions that you might have. I'm out of here. You guys have a blessed day. Bye, guys.